Hi, we're here live at the Cush Marketplace event, quarterly event for industry insiders in Washington State, and we are here with Ricker of Wham Oil, formerly of KISW. Ricker, how did you get on the front cover of the Northwest League? Well, it's a good story, you know. Of course, I was in radio for 20 years of my career, and I had to decompress for a while, so I uh, started traveling the world, and I ended up in Machu Picchu for a really important birthday, a midlife birthday. And I met this guy who said, you need to go into the jungle and do ayahuasca. This is a true story. So I did, and it was there that I realized that I had a deep interest in plant-based medicine. Wow. And the next thing you know, my buddy from Wham Oil from years back calls me and says, hey, why don't you come run my company with me? And I said, okay. So I moved back to Seattle, and the next thing you know, things are clicking, and Wham Oil, 100% pure, full spectrum oil was right up my alley and I love it so much and I'm so passionate about it that I had to take a part of my life in it and of course the universe led me directly here so you just got to trust your intuition and go with what uh, is given to you sometimes and hey you might end up on the cover of a magazine Woo! Tasty. Lemon <laughs> remedy. That's oh, the lemon it's, remedy. It's citrusy. Yes, uh, that's our signature that's strain. That's good. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's uh, super high CBD, low THC. Yeah. So, so Ricker, where can they find you with Wham Oil? Where are they at online? How do they get a hold of you? Absolutely. Where can they find your products? Well, of course, we're all over social media. You know, we've got a beautiful Instagram page, uh, also a Twitter and a Facebook page too. Uh, but whamoil.com or washingtonsoriginal.com is where you're going to find the most information about Wham Oil. We're in 120 shops in the state of Washington and building. We've got more products coming to market all the time. And it's just a really exciting time for Wham Oil and for me personally to be a part of it. Well, welcome back to Seattle. You know, it's funny because uh, I'm a Florida boy. Uh, I was raised on the beach. You know, I grew up surfing and uh, when I came to Seattle, as you'll read in the article here for Northwest Leaf, uh, I, was, I was crying my eyes out because really I thought it was, I was being shoved into a closet. It was the last place I ever thought I'd be. But I had gotten fired from my radio gig in Tampa, Florida, and my agent had handed my demo off to the program director here in Seattle, and he said, I've got to have this guy, so let's get him out here. So next thing you know, I'm living in Seattle, and I thought it was a curse, but here we are 15 years later, and I realize again that the universe had put me exactly where I needed to be. And as I gave it time to develop, and gave myself time to develop spiritually, I realized that this is the perfect city for me, opportunity-wise, because so much is happening in the city of Seattle right now. It's completely getting a makeover, and as far as business goes, it really is the hottest city in the America and potentially the world. What a blessing in disguise. You got fired and yet you're one of the most dynamic radio personalities I've ever encountered. And so for, for as an entrepreneur, that's, um, that's inspiring to hear that you got fired and that, that the universe brought you to that next step above and beyond that entire industry of radio to something that can help people. I mean, your personality helps a lot of folks on the radio, but now your medicine is helping them in addition to that. That's amazing. Josh, if you trust in the process, and by the process I mean life itself, we're so conditioned to think out of a resistant place in our lives because from the time we're little boys or little girls, we're told to wear blue, little girls wear pink, and then you've got to go to the right schools, then you have to get married and have a house and, uh, and have a career and have more kids and send them to the right schools. It's just a machine that I don't think benefits the individual, right? But if you step back and you give yourself space, I mean real space, you know, to, to really figure out who you are as an individual and, and what your actual truth is as an individual, and I mean really give yourself space and open up the possibilities of life, what happens is, is you begin to realize that your truth doesn't necessarily coincide with the path that was laid out for you by society, by your parents, by governments and such. And really that's what I had to learn for myself, man. I had to learn that. You can't just buy that in a drink or in a class 
or in a pill. You've got to do the work. And by the work, I mean self-discovery. So I got fired five times in radio. And every time, I thought it was a curse at the moment. And as I look back, I realized that every single time it happened, it turned out to be extremely beneficial for me. And the same with relationships. I spent years in relationships that were toxic, but I stayed in them either because the, the girl was smoking hot and I wanted my buddies to think that I was the guy or they had more money than me or for whatever reason, even though it wasn't healthy, I would stay in it, right? And then you look back and you go, my God, it was toxic. But what happened was I, I learned from that experience and the next one hopefully got better. The one I'm in now is amazing. Uh, my girlfriend, her name's Christy Jessica uh, on Instagram. She's pure underscore rebel. Been together six years. She's a, a world traveling model. She shoots all over the world. She's the greatest human being that I've ever met. And all of the lessons that we learn lead us to this moment in life. So you have to learn from those lessons. So getting fired each time turned out to be the biggest blessing. And bringing me to Seattle, once I realized that I just had to let go and let the universe direct me and be open to the omens and the signals that were there for me and stop trying to control my environment, my atmosphere, my friendships, my relationships, what happened was everything started to fall into place. So was it coincidental that I ended up back in Seattle? An owner and the sales and marketing director of Wham Oil? I don't think so. I think that it was serendipitous, of course, but truly meant to be because I allowed it to happen without trying to control it. And now that I'm in it and I realize that, man, the, the possibilities are endless because cannabis is just now being researched really for the first time now that there's funding for it. And as this research continues, we will see cures and ailments being just disintegrated by the cannabinoids that have so uh, endless, such endless possibilities. So it's just really the most enlightening and exciting industry to par be a part of because no matter what the government says, it's not going anywhere. People want it. And the more people want it, the more they're gonna make it happen, whether they're told they can or can't. It is happening and it is coming to a store near you, no matter where you are around the world. Whether you're in uh, Bulgaria or China, cannabis is coming to you, just believe. Stay positive. Wham oil is coming near you, wait for it. Get ready. <laughs> so we're just gonna let this keep rolling, but um, so you mentioned failing forward. Um, as an entrepreneur, every time you fail, it's a, it's a learning step. So now you can kind of look back in hindsight and say, yeah, each time I failed, that was an opportunity to be more successful by learning from that opportunity. So my question inspired by Kat, the attorney, how do you remain in this legal environment? How do you stay one step ahead? How do you continue to pivot to stay relevant when some of those, those quote unquote failures, those steps that don't make immediate success, how do, how do you ensure that that doesn't make you go broke? How do you stay in the game? How do you pivot to stay relevant? Well, you have to be really uh, cautious in this environment because as we all know, it's not legal federally. So what we do at Wham Oil is we make sure that all of our T's are crossed and all of our I's are dotted. We do good business. We, do, we, we have high values and ethics. Uh, we were a medical product since 2010, so we're not new to this game. We understand the dynamics of uh, working in the cannabis field and that people in the legal side have to do their jobs uh, according to what their jobs are and they have to represent the people. And we have to represent the people as well from different sides of the spectrum. So we try to be as, as respectful as we possibly can of the Liquor Cannabis Board and the laws. And we know that as long as we're covering our tracks and doing good business, no matter what happens, we'll always be able to defend ourselves in court. Very true, very true. I have a question for you. Because this is, this is America, mm -hmm. and, and this is a capitalist society, and it's a democracy. Because of that, we have the opportunity, to we have the right to make a living. And it is legal statewide. 
So we lean on that with heavy respect uh, to the organizations that have to do their job and keep us in check. Right. And what's your question, Kat? My question to you is, do you find yourself advocating more for the CBD user? Or do you find yourself advocating more for this, the business, the cannabis business? Or is it both? Oh, it's definitely both. You know, it's if one of my favorite sayings is, each one teach one. So we take the time to cultivate the best oil in the state of Washington that's full spectrum, which means that it has uh, all the cannabinoids possible and high levels of those cannabinoids. That said, we think that there's a great benefit to health and wellness by having a product that is 100% pure and high quality. And we specialize in CBD strains. So with these products, we can go to the individuals or the individuals can come to the stores and, and get our products. And if it changes them personally, and, and believe me, there are people who come to me and say, you know what, your product has changed my life. When someone says that to you, that's a resounding statement that has really a great impact on me as, a, as an individual. So when someone says, wham oil has changed my life, I know that that person is going to become an important cog in the cannabis environment, in the cannabis industry, because they're going to tell a friend, and they're going to tell a friend, and it's going to be word of mouth, and the next thing you know, there are going to be people marching in the streets who advocate for cannabis because cannabis has given them a better life, because their back feels better, because their anxiety is gone, because their Crohn's and colitis is lessened. There are all kinds of ways that cannabis has had effect on people individually. Now, I don't make any claims medically, and I don't say that any of this will work for you, but people have told me that cannabis has changed their lives and improved their health and wellness. So, when you have individuals that are champions for cannabis, obviously that's good for the cannabis industry as a whole. I agree. Share your story, folks. That's right. Like I'm doing. Brilliant. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so very much for allowing me this opportunity to be here with you guys today. Um, I'm just so thrilled to be on the cover of Northwest Leaf. I want to thank Wes Abney and Daniel Berman for the article and the photographs. Uh, it's just really an honor and a privilege to be a part of that organization. I also want to give thanks to Dope Magazine because uh, I'll be writing a blog that launches on the 19th of February this month called Stony Baloney. And it's going to be every Monday online at dope.com. Go look for it, man. It's, it's going to be really good. And there'll be an audio version of it as well. So again, Thank you to Doe Magazine for Stony Baloney launching February 19th. But even more so, thanks to Northwest Leaf for really, really uh, doing a great job in advocating for cannabis and being so out there for, for the industry. Because Northwest Leaf really is a high quality read and they truly do advocate for the medical aspect of cannabis. And Wes Abney works his ass off. He's the publisher. And uh, I can't say enough about that guy. So they can find you at what, whamoil.com, uh, whamoil on social media, DJ Ricker. It's Ricker DJ, Ricker DJ. on social media. Yeah, that's uh, got uh, an Instagram account, a Facebook account, and a Twitter account as well. And uh, also, I'm involved with another social media network called FutureNet. It's actually on the blockchain. And the whole concept of it is they take the advertising dollars and they give it back to the people, right? So, you know, there are certain uh, social media outlets that take advertising daughter, dollars and pay themselves. Well, FutureNet takes the advertising dollars and gives it back to you. So you actually make money for having friends, for having a network. It's the future. Your network is your net worth. That's FutureNet. Awesome. And Stony Baloney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right on, cat. See you at the next Kush Marketplace event in May. Until then, peace.